Steve Dotto here. How the heck are you doing this fine day? And welcome to our Webinar Wednesday recap. This is a recap of one of our weekly Webinar Wednesdays, this particular one on Notion, where we have our guest, Francesco D'Alessio. So a little bit of backstory very quickly. Each week here at Dotto Tech, well, almost every week, we host a free live tutorial webinar called Webinar Wednesday. Now you can find the information to sign up below and discover exactly what we're gonna talk about each and every week, but we talk about productivity, we talk about social marketing, we talk about online video, lots of different topics where we teach you a little bit about the topic in a free one hour webinar. Now this particular video is not the entire webinar. No, 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 the webinar lasted about an hour and a half. This is a 10 minute recap, highlights in the most actionable items from this week's webinar. Now, a quick note. We're looking at Notion this week, and we were hoping to look at Notion from the perspective of perhaps it is a really good replacement for Evernote, because a lot of people are getting kind of down on Evernote. I personally don't think Notion has reached the point that it's an Evernote replacement, so if you're looking for that information, well, you might be disappointed. But having said that, Notion is an awesome productivity tool all on its own. And Francisco D'Alessio of Keep Productive does a phenomenal job of explaining the benefits to us. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this week's Webinar Wednesday on Notion with Francesco D'Alessio. Hey, the, the camera is really bright. It, may, it looks like I've got lipstick on here. Yeah, it does. And, <laughs> your, and your ear, ear, AirPods look like they're cannons ready to shoot at <laughs> them. I've never seen them put them straight out like that. Kind of, no, no, it's cool. It's cool. Like, That's all right. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Bloody hell. <laughs> all about Notion. Now, I know many of you guys have been scratching your head about Notion. Notion has been one of those resources that has skyrocketed in, in popularity and in the productivity space it, it's sometimes hard to decipher which one is best for you and Notion has definitely been on many people's radars and you've probably seen it with your friends or family or even co-workers that may have started to use it and you're curious what is Notion how do I start using it and could I potentially begin to activate it for my productivity so in today's video we're going to basically run through the basics of Notion. We're going to decipher the use cases so that you can see how it's used in everyday practice. Then we're going to round up by talking about whether it could be a potential Evernote replacement, a viable one that you guys could use for all of your notes. Because a lot of people are looking at Evernote at the moment and going, hmm, do I need a replacement? Is this something that I could replace it with? So it's gonna be an exciting uh, webinar. We're going to dive all into that. But as you can imagine, uh, everything starts from a beginning and Notion was started back in 2016. They're a company based in San Francisco and essentially their goal was to try and create a wiki tool. And wiki tools are traditionally used by teams internally to find information. So for example, like let's say a, a new member has come onto a team and they'd like to find out how to write the perfect article for the company blog they could go on the internal wiki and really find a guidebook. And essentially, I guess I'd say it started from there and people started expanding and using it for their own personal situations and team and work situations. So it really skyrocketed in the way it was used. And so many people begun using it for that need and it has naturally become uh, really popular for it. So the bare bones of Notion is that it's a modular tool. So you have to think of Notion as like Lego blocks. You can basically build any page you like, uh, you know, populating with whatever you like, images, tables, uh, PDFs, documents, files, whatever you like. And that's what's quite amazing about it. Now, what we think about normal productivity applications is when we got a productivity application, we tend to have a fixed structure. And that is natural. Like we open a calendar and a calendar's built for us. We open our note taker. It could be Evernote, for example. And all of the notes list is ready for you to add notes in. But with Notion, you've pretty much got a blank canvas. Despite, you do have a few templates and getting started. But when you open it and you get going with it, you're pretty much left to your own devices. There's no fixed structure or actual someone telling you you need to use it for this bit, this bit, uh, etc. And there's really no limitations, which makes it quite exciting, but also quite scary. Because I can imagine a lot of you guys are going you've probably opened up Notion and gone, 
very scary because there's so much there that you need to know. So structurally, it's a lot different to the other resources. But the the goal of Notion is to try and kill off some of the other popular application story. Now, you're probably wondering, how does Notion work? Now, I think fairly simple once you get into the resource, but it can get overcomplicated when you get started. Now, as you can imagine, once you enter Notion and you sign up, you pretty much get a few templates built for you, a few pages built for you to get started with. But obviously, there's really two things you need to know when you get started, and that's the first is the ability to create a page. Now, a page is very similar to a notebook inside of Notion. So you essentially uh, create a page, and what you can do inside that page is really limitless. It's a canvas for you to add whatever you like. So for example, you could add an editorial calendar in here, or you could add a list, or you could add a document, whatever you like, really. And it's really got no limitations to it. Now, the other elements inside it are blocks. Now, blocks help you to build up your Notion account. And it's very simple. You use the slash key. And then once you start adding things in, you can add images, you can add documents, you can add tables, calendars, databases. It's really expansive. Now, you're probably wondering, how do I even use this in my everyday situation? And it works in very similar to situation to the likes of Evernote or all of the other resources you use, task managers. You could build it for whatever you like, though. That's the difference. So, for example, let's say uh, I'll bring in a situation of my own. I use it as my uh, inbox for capturing new articles that I can read later. So I go into my Notion account and I use a slash key, type in web bookmark, paste the web bookmark in, and it saved the article ready for later. Another example, I use it to calculate my savings for the month. So I use a table to open up that table and to start adding what I need to save for the certain month. I also use an editorial calendar with our team to plan in all of the articles that are coming up, adding due dates, adding notes, and inviting or assigning the actual task to the other people. Now, holistically, you could use Notion as your Evernote replacement. It has very similar bells and whistles. You can create a new note or a page in this case, and you can start adding all of the relevant details, whether you want to add images, files, or even just text, and even format in Markdown, then you can quite easily. And you could create a really good note. I could see a student using this to actually create notes for their class. I could see a professional using this to be able to tally meeting notes in very similar to uh, Evernote. But it does lack a few features that Evernote has that makes it a true note-taking application. The first of them is a web clipper. Now, a web clipper, as many of you guys know, if you're an Evernote user, is a very fundamental experience. When you are inside of Chrome or another browser and you want to be able to clip stuff into your Evernote account, you can quite easily do that using the Evernote Web Clipper. Now, Notion currently doesn't have one, which makes it a bit of a pain when you're trying to clip PDFs or even the likes of pages or relevant clippings of the text selection inside of a Chrome web page. Then that's something that you can't do inside of Notion. Now, Notion are adding this, which will put them in contention for being a potential Evernote replacement, but it still lacks even more than that. It still lacks the ability to create an inbox. Now, an inbox can be created inside of Evernote, as many of you know, through the default notebook, and you can email in to that uh, Evernote notebook, which is such a brilliant feature. And something that I used quite a lot, for example, sending emails or receipts or useful information about the house over to Evernote, and for it to be stored there, and I can put it in the right notebook. Whereas, at the moment, having an inbox is not available inside of Notion. Now, there's no notebook selection. There's no, uh, you know, which one is the master page at the moment. So they need to be able to add a feature like this. The ability to actually clip or email into Notion would be something massive, because imagine if you were able to do that, that would make it really competitive as a note-taking resource. And also, they do not have an Evernote importability yet. So you cannot import all of the notes that you like into the likes of Notion. So there is a couple of bottlenecks there. So guys, hopefully that gave you a nice introduction to Notion. As you can imagine, Notion is a really simple resource. And once you can get started with using it every single day, 
uh, it actually becomes a little bit easier to use. Well, and there you have a quick recap of our webinar on Notion. Now, Notion's a tough topic. It is such a deep application that does take some time to get your head around. So I want to thank Francesco for going above and beyond the call of duty and explaining it to us. But I'm going to tell you right now, Notion is not a replacement of Evernote, at least not for curative content the way that many of us use Evernote, but it is an amazing app. And the more time you spend with it, the more you'll appreciate the, the, the brilliance of the way that they've put the entire program together and how extensible it's going to be through that block metaphor uh, of building out your Notion account. Now, if you want to sign up for Webinar Wednesday and take one of our webinars in in their full glory, I encourage you to check the links below to sign up for our weekly Webinar Wednesday. Once we deliver a webinar, uh, such as this one, we make it available for free for 48 hours, and then after that we archive it so that you can still get access to it, but you have to sign up to be one of our supporters at Patreon in order to gain access. This was our 78th webinar, so we've got a big library of previous week's trainings all available at Patreon, and uh, that is... Now, <clears throat> now, before we go, if you would like to join us live for a weekly webinar Wednesday, check out the links below and you can sign up and take in the full tutorial for free. Once we broadcast each webinar, we leave it online for 48 hours. And then after that, we archive it for the benefit of our patrons. You see, Dottotech is supported. It's a crowdfunded site supported through the generosity of our followers at Patreon. If you drop by patreon.com slash Dottotech, you too can sign up to support us, which we would greatly appreciate. And you can also find out what perks are available to you. And amongst those perks are replays of each and every one of our Webinar Wednesdays. This was the 78th Webinar Wednesday this particular week. So there's 78 tutorials that you can go through in their glory. I hope to see you online at some point, either as a patron or as a participant in Webinar Wednesday, or just drop us a note in a comment below. I will look forward to reading each and every one of them. Till next time, I'm Steve Dotto. Have fun storming the castle. 